I think the best salespeople uh, often have never considered the idea that they're in sales in the first place. At the time and throughout my entire degree, I was uh, working for a, uh, a restaurant and bar group, Earl's. I was actually working in high voltage electrical. Uh, I was on the road a lot. Uh, I was running a, uh, an exercise rehab company. Before Cask, I was uh, in a small family business, uh, more or less jack of all trades, with a little bit of sales, a little bit of production, a little bit of everything, really. My background was with tools, trades, and, and helping people that way. So I came across an ad for this craft beer sales role uh, didn't really know what it was, uh, but the company seemed kind of cool. Um, so this kind of speaks to who I am as a person. I'm the opposite of the guy that cuts corners, but rather looks for the hardest possible route to demand more of myself and, and see what I'm made of. So yeah, I'm pretty competitive. Cask was really not on my radar, I did not know about Cask. And I uh, kind of stumbled upon Cask and it ended up being everything that I was looking for. Uh, when I came to Canada in 2014, I came here with a backpack and a passport. <laughs> Um, and I had no previous work history here, so I took a labouring job in a factory for $11 an hour, um, so I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Uh, I never thought I was going to be in sales. Now I'm you know, running a sales team full of people who I also think are probably unconventional people who have found themselves loving a the sales role. A lot of folks when they're looking for a job, they're, they're kind of looking for something that's stable and it's um, maybe safe and it's going to pay their mortgage. But work doesn't have to just be that, right? It can be so much more. I knew I wanted to learn. I wasn't ready to you know, settle down in some career that I'm going to be in for the next 40 years. Uh, I just wanted the opportunity to hustle, to grind, uh, to build a foundation for the rest of my career. I did not know that there was such an exciting career to be had in manufacturing until I found Cask. Nobody's aware of heard of us and is kind of shocked that we do this super niche, global scale business all from one location here in Calgary. It started by a family of like serial entrepreneurs and we're helping entrepreneurs all over the world. We're not this like uptight group of people in this fancy office. That's not what we've decided to be. Everyone is, is committed. Everyone has an immense amount of give a shit. People are actually relying on us to help them um, in their day to day and for the mouths that they have to feed in their teams and their, their companies. It makes me feel good as well that I'm setting an example to my little boy at home uh, that he can be doing something rewarding when he gets to my age as well, right? When you think about our customer base, they're entrepreneurs, they're people that they're all in on themselves all the time. So it's all these go-getters out there that are just trying things out and we get to chat with them, we get to work with them, we get to help them every day. I've talked to companies that are packaging waters, cannabis drinks, wines, packaging ciders. If it can go in a can, there's a conversation to be had. There's no one on our team that doesn't have that grit factor that would pick up the phone, you know, make the calls, talk to people, learn about what's going on in the industry, what's actually challenging them. Customers can smell it a mile away when you're trying to, uh, trying to make something happen and you're not being you. And I think that's the least compelling thing that salespeople can do. The best thing that people can do is come to the table with great intentions and great questions and just be them. I was really uh, kind of taken aback by how thorough and like how involved uh, the onboarding was. And I think that speaks volumes to the culture at Casker. So. We actually do the beginning one to two weeks of onboarding as a group, uh, mostly to get you know a sense for each other, to build some uh, you know some team camaraderie and to give people some looks into, uh, hey, what does the culture of CASC look like? It was just absolutely blown away um, by the onboarding program and the eight weeks of training that we had. Um, I'd never seen anything like it. Didn't even know that something like that existed in the workplace. Typically, by the time uh, our onboarding is done, we have reps active in about eight weeks, uh, which means that they're actually on the phone, making a difference for customers uh, just in a couple months. It's all about um, enjoying what you do, but also being fired up by the people that are around you. Asking for the feedback, trying it out, reflecting on it, you know, could I have done this? Could I have said this? Would this have been better? It's one of those roles where you need to be open, you got to be curious to do this role. You just have to have an open mind and a, a hungry heart. When I look back over the last three years or six years, um, who we hire and who we bring in set the tone and the pace for what's next. I'm just excited to see uh, who we're able to find and what they want to bring to help us find that next level. People are all looking for the same thing. They want to grow their career. They want to grow their income. Uh, they want to do it uh, for a purpose that's you know, bigger than themselves and they want to surround themselves with people that feel the exact same way. There is no one 
that's going to apply here that you're going to want on your team more than me. Hire me.